This is what storyteller tactics look like in action. I'm going to run a little workshop here. I've got a blank piece of paper. I've got a deck of storyteller tactics. And I've got a problem. My problem is I need a number of different stories that I can use on social media and on Kickstarter in order to get attention for storyteller tactics so people go, oh, that looks interesting. Let me find out more. That's my challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself 10 minutes and I'm going to try and come up with as many different story ideas as I can in 10 minutes. Uh, and obviously what I'll then do is go back and pick out the one I think is the best or the ones I think are most useful. Um, OK, so I'm going to start the timer and then I'm going to start with a recipe card from the story deck. So I've just started the timer. The recipe card I'm going to use from the story deck is this one. It's stories that sell. OK, so stories that sell basically gives you a number of different tactics you can use from the deck in a kind of order. So let's start off with simple sales story. That's a card, simple sales stories. And essentially what this is saying is when you need to convince customers to try something new, it helps to tell stories about existing customers who've already tried it. Uh, so I could say to you, I've helped thousands of people find and tell great stories about their work. OK, that's a simple sales story. Better still, I can go, for example, I worked with a company in Europe who needed to develop a brand video showing what their company, their design philosophy was all about. Or I could say, I helped a group of academics at a university in Ireland to successfully bid for a £10 million funding grant by telling better stories about their research. OK. Simple sales story. Here's someone like you who I've helped, or this, these tactics have helped. OK, the next card is a similar one. It's called social proof. And the idea behind social proof is when we're not sure what to do, we look at other people to see what are they doing. Um, OK, so here, when you talk about social proof, you can talk about prototypes and testimonials. So we've been running prototypes of storyteller tactics by using beta decks. So I could say as a story, look, here's what a Google designer says about storyteller tactics. Because he's tested, the, he's tested the prototype, he's given us feedback. So that becomes a little story about here's someone like you who's used these and here's what they say. That's social proof. OK, moving on swiftly, we've got the next card in the recipe is Rags to Riches. Now, Rags to Riches is a story structure, it's a story arc. And it's in a way the simplest story you can tell because you can see like that rags to riches is like a, an arc it goes from it's a problem problem is a bad thing and look you go to a solution and the solution is a good place so the very very simplest stories we tell are this person had a problem we helped them now they're better they've got a solution what's interesting is when you go into the the the, the mechanics if you like of the rags to riches story what you discover is that at the beginning, the hero of the story, yes, they've got a problem, but they've also got some kind of hidden virtue. So Harry Potter is living below the stairs, the Dursleys, but he's a wizard, but nobody can see it. And what the story does is it reveals that talent or reveals that hidden virtue so all the rest of the world can see it. So in a rags to riches story for storyteller tactics, I could say, look, you're trying to do great work, you're trying to make the world a better place, but nobody's listening. OK, these tactics can help you get attention. They can help you connect with people. They can help you show the world what you've got to offer. That's a rags to riches story. OK, the final card in the stories that sell recipe is pitch perfect. Now, pitch perfect is when you need to prepare that kind of formal pitch conversation or presentation how do you do it? And on the back is another type of story arc. This time it's more like a roller coaster. And it goes from the problem, which is down, obviously, to the opportunity, which is, oh, that's a positive. But then it goes back down again because the practical steps you need to take are going to be hard. Because if they weren't hard, you'd have done them already. But the positive final end is a promise of in the future if you get this right. So my kind of 10 second version of Pitch Perfect is, right, the stories you need are all around you right now, but you've got to learn how to exploit them for their full potential. So 
So that follows the pattern. The stories you need, need as a problem, are all around you right now. That's an opportunity. But, straight back down again, you've got to learn hard work, how to exploit them for their full potential. Promise. So that's a pitch perfect version of storyteller tactics. Okay, so those are the stories on the story that sell card. Let's just do a random shuffle now and see what we get out, what comes out, and I'll just try and work with whatever comes up. Okay, so we've got, oh, okay, universal stories. Now, the idea behind this card is that everywhere you go, anytime in history, anywhere in the world, there's a lot that we've got more in common than sets us apart. And there are things in common that keep coming up in stories we tell. So let's just pick out one. Conflict and cooperation. So we're everyone is capable of both. We're capable of conf being in conflict with other people and cooperating with other people. Okay, so we can choose either. And it's a choice we make with whether to help or hinder. Okay, so in what way is storyteller tactics helping you to cooperate? Well, maybe you need to build trust. You need to build trust with other people. You need to tell the right story to build trust so they will work with you. They will cooperate. Let's do another random sh shuffle. Okay, so going through the deck, what have we got? Let's go with, okay, no easy way. No easy way is another story structure card. And in a way it's similar, if you look on the back, it's kind of similar to Pitch Perfect. It's like a roller coaster. What's interesting about the, the roller coaster of No Easy Way. So this is almost like an antidote to a simple rags to riches story that sounds too good to be true. The No Easy Way story goes, okay, you've got a problem, we're gonna try and solve it. It is not gonna be easy, because if it was easy, you'd have done it already. We're going to hit a setback. We're gonna come crashing down again when it doesn't work, but we'll stick with you and we will help you recover to a better place. So I suppose the no easy way version of the storyteller tactics story is these cards can help you. They can help you tell a great story about your work. And when you get stuck, we've got video tutorials too. We've got video work, we've got, we've got advice, we've got a community that will carry you through the difficult part of learning to tell your story. Okay, time to shuffle. Pick a card, any card, as the magicians used to say. Okay, ha. hero and guide. Again, this is a kind of mythological structure where you go, okay, you're on a journey. You're trying to do something. You're trying to achieve something. My job is to help you on the way. I'm the guide. I'm not the hero of the story. Okay, so what kind of guide could I be? And on the back of the card, one, two, three, four, five, six, different types of guide that you could be for your customer's journey. So you the customer of Storyteller Tactics, are on the journey. I'm your guide. Am I your explorer? So I'm encouraging you to explore things you've not tried before. And I'm saying, look, here's your map. Here's your compass. Off you go. Maybe I am the, 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 the defender. You know, the defender is saying, look, there's things that are important. You need to protect them. You need to safeguard them. The way you tell your story allows you to put allows you to protect the things in your work that matter to you most. Okay, let's do a shuffle. Again, kind of random, random, random. What have we got? Ha! Huh. Thoughtful failures. Okay, so thoughtful failures is basically a good tactic for exploiting stories of things that go wrong. Now, every time something goes wrong, there's a story behind why it went wrong. And what's great about that story is we all want to hear it because if I hear a story of what you got wrong, maybe it'll save me from messing up too. So, so how about, here are three of the worst stories I've ever told, and, and how you can avoid telling them yourself. Or here are the worst story mistakes I've made, and how you can avoid making them too. And this deck will help you avoid making some of the stupid mistakes that I've made. Okay, last shuffle, because we're running out of time. Let's have a look, hold on. So let's go into the deck and pull out. Okay, I like this one. Three great conflicts. Um, this is a kind of concept card. Um, the idea behind these cards is that, that stories explain how we see the world. Um, and in every story, every good story, there is a, there's a conflict. 
But what this says is that basically there are three types of conflict. There is, there's you, the hero of the story. There's you versus nature. So, you know, this is basically accidents, acts of God, weather, pandemics, illness, whatever. There's you versus other people. So that's you trying to achieve something in society when other people don't want you to. But the biggest battle often is you against yourself, um, you know, because we're all a bit lazier and weaker and more selfish and, you know, than we probably should be. OK, which battle do you need to fight first? Which battle is the most important? And the storyteller tactics will help you make a battle plan for one of life's great conflicts. OK, the timer is about to go. In fact, that's it. Time up. OK, so that was 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, I've rattled through that many stories. Um, what I can now do is go back in a bit more detail and think, OK, which of those stories do I think is most useful for trying to get attention for storyteller tactics? Um, and I'll start to pick them out and develop them a bit further. And there are cards in the deck I can use to develop each story a bit further. But that's what it looks like when you run a storyteller tactics workshop in action.